Welcome to Red's Workshop! I got a box. Well, once again, it's a very good thing that I'm an opener, because these cards are bent as hell. Straight from Hasbro. Not cool, Hasbro. Hasbro? What the fuck? Um, but these are two figures that I have been extremely, extremely looking forward to. We got Death Watch Mando and Fennec Shand. Huzzah! So we'll go ahead and look at the card backs for these. Okay, same card back. Neato burrito. So, get out of here. Other figures in the wave, plus the previous wave. Let's get them out of their plastic prisons. Okay, so let's go over Death Watch Mando first. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this uses quite a bit of reuse from the original Mandalorian figure, but there's also a lot of new sculpt as well. So he comes with the Mandalorian blaster. Can't remember what model that's called. And then he comes with a blaster rifle as well. And then the figure itself is pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. So he's got a swoop down visor or um, range finder. That's what it is. It swings right back up really nicely. And then jetpack is removable and it has that half peg on it. And it's got a nice um, sculpted kind of leather holster that moves out of the way nicely. So we're going to put his pistol back in there. So let's go over articulation. He's got a really nice um, swivel. We'll go all the way around. And forward, backward. Yes, it does. And then the arms will just about break 90. The shoulder plate will go under the uh, body nicely. And then break 90 at the elbow with an up-down swish and flick at the wrist. And then full circle at the waist with a nice forward-backward on it as well. And the legs will come all the way forward and a decent ways backwards. As well as really a nice split on it. And then full rotation at the hip, as well as at the thigh. And then break 90 at the knee really nicely. Really, really insane articulation on this figure. And then Foot's got a forward-facing rocker that will go wherever you need it to. What's interesting, though, is the cut of the knee on this right leg. Maybe it's just mine, but it's cut to the point that it will bend forward at the knee, which... I don't know about you, but my leg's never done that before, so... Um, I'm, all around, I'm pretty happy with this one. Really nice um, paintwork. Would be cool to get a four-pack of these with the different stripes on them. Because even on the packaging, that dude only has... It looks like he only has a single stripe on there. Yet, the figure that we have has two stripes. And I think there's also one that has three stripes as well. So, it would be cool to get all of them eventually. I'm just going to have this one as part of my growing Mandalorian slash Death Watch army. So, he'll be kicking it with Bo-Katan. Uh, let's talk about Fennec. And Fennec comes with some pretty cool accessories. So, I was kind of hoping that her helmet would just be a uh, pop-on. That way you could still... Okay, I see it, I see. Okay, so her helmet is an alternate head as opposed to being a slide-on helmet, but you see that little peg in the back there. Well, that is for her braid. So you just pull it off of her unhelmeted head and just pop it right in the back of the helmet. 
And ta-da! Um, like I said, I, I would have rather just had the head just, you know, like the helmet just slide over the head, but whatever. So she also comes with a jug of spotchka, which I'll just be throwing directly onto my cantina display. And then she comes with two different rifles. There's one, and here is the other. And this one, more of a sniper, this one can go on her back. So we're going to check the articulation quick before we do that. And uh, I'm going to be swapping the head over in a second here, so that's why she does not have a braid. And really, really nice Ming Na Wen face sculpt. Uh, mine doesn't have very great paint apps, but still a really nice sculpt in general. So, full rotation, a little bit of side to side. Really nice forward backward. Yes, she does. If this thing will just stay focused, please. I keep seeing the face in the background. There we go. Yes, nice. Nice face sculpt. Um... Her shoulder won't quite break 90, but the elbow will, just a little bit. And then she does have up and down, swish and flick at the wrist, uh, full rotation at the stomach, and then really nice soft, glo soft goods that are split into three pieces. Uh, and she does have a near-perfect split, plus leg will come forward, and... Swing backward a decent ways. And then full rotation at the hip and at the thigh. Little bit of break 90 at the knee. And forward facing rockers. And amazing, amazing paint apps throughout the entire figure. Really, really great paint apps. So let's get her all kitted out. Alright, so there she is, fully kitted out as Master Assassin Fennec Shand, uh, with Death Watch Mando all posed up there as well. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with both of these figures. I think they turned out pretty great. I was looking forward to them quite a bit. I think this was, this was a really, really strong wave. I'm pretty sure this was the same wave that Ahsoka came in, so... A lot of really new... A lot of new sculpt. A lot of really great characters, really great figures. I'm... I'm pretty stoked about them. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Um, let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. Let me know if you're able to get your hands on them or not. So, sorry if this one's a little uh, quick, little kind of speed run, but I'm not really feeling too great today. I think I've got a cold or something. So, uh, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you should, um, you should like the video, and you should subscribe, and you should share with your friends if you liked it. Now I'll see you next time. Alright, bye. I love you guys. Bye!